Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrass, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. In the last video, we went to jail after we dropped Marl off back home in Guardia Castle. Even though we were found not guilty of kidnapping the princess. And now, the Chancellor wants us executed for basically no reason. Obviously, we can't have that. Now, there are two ways where we can get out. The first one was the one that I did when I was a kid. You had to wait three days for the day of the execution. The first day went by during the last video, so you're going to see the other two pass by here. You can move around in your cell if you want. And we have already reached the second day. And eventually, the day will arrive. We're here to take you to your place of execution. Come along. And if you do it this way, you'll notice other people in the cells, which is interesting because you don't see other people in cells as you go through this place, regardless of which choice that you make, which is really interesting also there's a guy right underneath the guillotine which is now where we are we've jumped up the guillotine any last words chrono i've come to save you who the heck are you get out of my way take five you mugs Wow, these guys are not very bright. So, what do you think of my Zonker 38? Pretty cool, huh? Let's blow this joint. And we're just free with that explanation. And they're not really dead. They're just passed out. Whatever that means. And you can open the chest for some bronze mail. Which we can't give to either party member because well Luca can't equip it it's men only and Chrono automatically has some but there is another way that you can do this if you walk down into the cell bars and you keep doing it, the guard keeps telling you to pipe down. If you do it three times, you'll get beat up by one of the guards. That's what you get for misbehaving. Now, you can run the freedom. Where do you think you're going? And you can just easily fight the guards. I've never actually done it this way before.
And there is another way. This time, you can still move into the bars in order to get the guard's attention, but you can press A in front of the guard as soon as you wake up, you'll knock the first guy down. And, you only have to fight one guard. You get less experience if you do it this way. But it's only 10 less experience and 70 less gold. You choose points, experience points, or safety. Now we're going to go ahead and save. And regardless of how you get out, You have to get to the same place in the end. But in the meantime, we will explore. And, uh-oh. Well, I wanted to get those two chests, but the door only opened halfway. There is another way to get in there, though. For now, let's go up the stairs and fight a new... Well, that's one way to get behind them. Let's go ahead and fight a new enemy here. The Blue Shield. Now, these guys are invulnerable until... They stop hiding behind their shield and become the Yodu Day, which looks like the words, Yo Dude. Now that I think about it. Yo, dude. Maybe that's a subtle hint that you're supposed to hit them when they do that. So anyway, when they move their shield to the side and you see the guy behind the shield looking around, that's when you can hit them. So there are places where we can go. We're going to take the lower right staircase first. And if you see a place like this, you can go in one of two directions. And if you can get behind a guard, you can kill them without having to fight them. And if you talk to them after you defeat them, well, usually you get a mid tonic, but this guy doesn't give us anything. However, we can open that switch by walking up to it and pressing A, and going inside to find an ether, a mid tonic, another mid tonic, and another ether. So I found out through the Chrono Trigger Player's Guide from Nintendo Power back during the Super Nintendo's versions of the game's released window back when it was a new game. And turns out the most you can get is three ethers. So more than likely, the rising number of ethers from the rising number of not guilty jurors applies to DS and beyond. You just get one either for four or five, and you get three ethers for th six or seven in this version of the game. Now, when you go back to the stairs in this room, so you're the escaped con, you'll face the Omnicrone. This is a little easier if you're playing as Luca because you have two people. But, well, this guy missed. I don't think you can use fire magic on this guy if I remember correctly. But being this guy gives you 22 experience points, 55 gold, and an ether. They don't pay me enough for this! And... He just leaves. He just runs away. And from here, we can go back. It should be mentioned that sometimes the blue... The blue shields will eventually respawn. And you can go between them if you need to avoid them if you need to. But you can fight them again if you want. Now, the upper left... 
thing here. If you go into this cell, you'll bring this skeleton to life. Descendant, or decedent. This guy will hit you with his spear, and he can hurt you. But you can also hurt him. 12 experience points, 90 gold, nothing else. And, uh-oh. Well, we can't do that. We're going to have to find another way into that cell. Let's take the upper right staircase. And when we go through here, the prisoner's escaping. You get to fight two guards. I was hoping I would hit him before he hit me. So much for that. But we're getting plenty of tonics and mid tonics. Well, maybe more tonics at the at the meantime. But you want to sneak past this guy and hit him if you can. And if you search him and pretty much all the other guards, you'll get a mid tonic out of it. Otherwise, you just get a tonic. You actually want to do things this way. Because the mid tonics are going to be really useful really soon. And we found another mid tonic in that chest. And there's the guy in the guillotine. Help me. Save him. Yes. You're a lifesaver. I'm Fritz. My dad runs a store in Truce Village. Stop by and you're in, if you're in the area. So that's what happened to Fritz. Well, Elaine and the merchant in Truce Village are going to be very happy that we freed Fritz. Now, if you open up this door without going the waiting game, you get to face two decedents. Now, let's see if I can do this. Are they going to do this or not? They're going to do this eventually. No, we're not going to do this. Well, you've left me with no choice. I was really hoping I could take them both out with the cyclone attack, but well, that's not happening. At least we got plenty of gold out of that, and another bronze mail, as established when we were in this room before. And the guards are gone, but they will come back. Eventually. Now, if these guys do see you, you will get caught, and you will have to fight them, and you just get the usual experience and gold and tonics out of them. So, keep that in mind. Anyway, let's make our way to here. We'll face the blue shield shortly. For now, let's open this up and get the shelter and we'll go here. And there's a person here, but he just turns into a skeleton. Apparently he's been in here so long that People there didn't even care. Not much of a use for this room. Hmm. Well. Let's go ahead and fight the blue shields. K. 
Can I get two of these guys to reveal themselves at the same time? Well, I can. But I can't hit him with Cyclone. I can't believe they did that to me. Well, I'm going to hit the guy on the right first because he revealed himself first. And then I'm going to take care of the guy on the left. Might as well get some experience off of these guys since I'm not getting them off the guards. And there isn't anything here, but there is something here. If we go through this, walk off the edge, and stand in a way that does not look like we are standing still, we can climb up and down the wall with up and down. After a little experimentation, you'll know what to do to get here and get to shelter. But that's not all, folks. If you press A at this hole you'll be able to get to the other cell that we couldn't get to. That's how you get over here. 1,500 gold and a load sword, which we already have. Which means even more free money. Anyway, let's go ahead. And... Do this, and then we're going to make our way back downstairs, and the blue shields are back. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Now, will the other guy reveal himself? Come on. Got him. All right, got ourselves a little more stuff. 22 experience and 90 gold in the tonic. And we want to go up here. And just like that, we are now close to where we were told we were being executed. That is so weird that that long story that long corridor with the four cells with the people in it, you never see it when you explore this part of the castle. That's really weird. Anyway, you can't sneak up on these guys. So, you'll have to fight them. Which means you're only going to get one tonic. Unfortunately. And there's the guy who processed us. <laughs> Help! And when... This guy goes down thanks to Lucas showing up. Now that we're here. Gee, it looks like you didn't need my help after all. Let's blow this joint. The document here will fall onto the floor. First, let's search this guy for not one, but five mid tonics. Now let's read the document. A top secret document has been left behind the floor. Care to read it? Yes. To the prison supervisor, Dragon Tank Owner's Manual. The tank head repairs body damage. It contains a shield that prevents damage by lightning and fire. Unless the head can be defeated, the tank is unbeatable. Guardia Research and Development. So, now that we are done here, let's get everyone 
back up to full strength. And we should also save. Now you can press A to go directly to the save menu, but if you press X in, in on the sparkles and then move to the save menu, you can also save that way. Now how am I doing? 11 mid tonics and 35 tonics. That's cool. Now if we go up the stairs and we head to the left, What was that? Well, if we keep going left, we'll find out. It's a dragon tank. Forward dragon tank, crush those rebels. And from here, we face the dragon tank. You want to attack the head, which is the tank head. You also want to attack the grinder as well. I mean, we're taking this thing down. But it will be able to heal itself and we just got a critical hit. I may be using Luca to heal here. And there's quite a few attacks you can do that this thing can do. If the grinder is visible, it will try to ram into both of you, which it will. It can shoot lasers at you. It can shoot missiles at you. Those are usually single target attacks. And from here, the game will tell you that en energy is stored in the wheels. Now that we've taken care of the head, let's go ahead and take care of the grinder and also the dragon takes body itself. Also, I'm going to use Fire Whirl so I can do even more damage. Now that the head's gone and no longer shielding damage from the elements. Okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, huh. I was about to heal Chrono, but we got 400 experience, or not 400, but 40 experience and 500 gold from doing that. I was doing things right. And once you defeat the Dragon Tank, that happens. You destroy this thing once and for all. They get the Dragon Tank! Fix it! Quickly! yourselves into thinking you've gotten away with this yeah he speaks if you walk over him anyway let's make our way downstairs and grab things like this shelter as we go down well that leads to the exit what's down here oh it's the soldiers quarters they're escaping well, at least they won't follow us down here, but they're escaping. We have no choice but to break through. Now, thankfully, these guys don't do anything. They just walk in place. And when you get to the entrance, stop! Princess Nadia! This is my friend. Show him your respect. But, but... Can't you take orders? Of course. Hold it right there. How did you get there? Do as King Gaudius 33rd says. Father, silence Princess Nadia. The throne comes before your personal wishes. What? Just because I have a title doesn't mean I'm not a person. You pick up strange ideas venturing outside. I didn't pick up anything. It's called common sense. Princess Nadia, I despise you. I'm leaving. Princess Nadia!
towards you. Come on, Chrono. Don't just stand there after them! Princess Nadia. There they are. Don't lose them. And we can't go back to the left because the soldiers are now in our way. There's no escape. Silence. And from here, they just are dumb as a brick and just walk in place when they're near you. The only place to go is to the right. Looks like a dead end. A gate. Come on. But we don't know where it'll take us. Who cares? This place stinks anyway. And besides, it's not like we have a choice. Princess Nadia! This is completely irrational. Hurry, Chrono! You can talk to the soldiers and to the Chancellor, but it does you no good. And it does absolutely nothing. So just go in the gate. They disappeared! And we have no idea where this is going until we get there. Eek! Ouch! There's no way the Chancellor can reach us here. But where are we? The civilization here seems so advanced. Like we're in another world. And there is something up with this door. A strange crest is engraved here. It's sealed by some kind of power. So we're in a place with a weird door. We have a gate in front of us, though. If we go back, the soldiers will spot us and chase us back in, into wherever this is. And we have a door to the south leading out. Where are we? Well, this isn't good. None of this looks good. And everything is brown. This really doesn't look good. The music, the snow, all that. Bangor Dome. Not much of a reason to be in here. There's a destroyed city to the north. Tron Dome. We don't even know where or when we are. Got any cash? Yeah. You call this money? Oh, well, I have some good stuff. And we might as well... get things. Let's go ahead and Equip the Iron Helm and Iron Suit on everyone. Let's give... The Auto Gun to Luca because a stronger gun with more attack is still a stronger gun. Even though we have a low hit stat. And did I... No, I did not. Now I have. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell everything. We can sell the load sword that we got earlier. We can sell the two bronze nails. We can sell the two maiden suits. We can sell the three bronze helms. And we can sell the dart gun. I'm not selling any of my 
things here. I'm not selling any of my healing items. But you can buy mid tonics here, which is good. Save money. It'll do you good. That's my motto. What is up with the weird space to the left of the eye? You'll find some food at Aris Dome to the northeast, but only if you get past Lab 16. The beasts there don't react to weapons like guns and swords. Truce Dome? Never heard of it. This is Tron Dome. If you're looking for food, you lose. Kingdom? What are you talking about? This is an Enertron. You get a full night's sleep in a few seconds, but it still leaves you hungry. And if you go up to it and press A, will you rest in the Enertron? Yes, we will do that and heal ourselves. HP and MP restored. But you're still hungry. This iconic line actually got changed in the DS version onward. And that makes me sad. Especially since H.C. Bailey made But You're Still Hungry into a YouTube channel meme. And there's another one of these doors here. Very strange. We have sealed boxes, and now we have sealed doors. Well then. And... We might as well say, because I've been recording for more than 30 minutes. Future? What? But the game doesn't really tell us. That's really weird. Future. What do you mean, game? What do you mean? Well, it looks like Chrono and Company are going to eventually learn something that we already seem to know in the next video so join me next time where I head north to lab 16 and see what is going on around here until then this is Prince Watercress take care stay safe and thanks for watching